in Davis, leaders say they want the city to be more heat resilient. They have a big budget project in the works to help ease heat island effects in dense, packed in areas that trap hot air, essentially. Your reporter covering Yellow County is Ashley Sharp. She introduces us to a massive investment in cooling pavement. Ashley. A summer scorcher with day after day of 100 plus degrees. It's kind of like you open the door to the oven when you're baking. Victoria Sheridan of Sunflowers and Sage Herb Farm embracing the heat wave weekly at the Davis Farmers Market. I have my ice water. I have bags of ice that I can put on myself. <laughs> And I have my fan. <laughs> yes. As Davis does what it can for some rapid relief, the city has a project in the works that could make Davis cooler in the long term. Addressing some of the changes that are being caused by global warming and just climate change in general. The city of Davis got its largest grant ever, $24 million, funding the Cool Pavement Project, road repairs that should make Davis more resilient to high heat. We were looking at areas where we didn't have a lot of tree cover or we had issues where the pavement was able to absorb a lot of heat and then raise the temperature of the surrounding neighborhood. Conventional pavement can climb to 120 to even 150 degrees in peak summer. This cooling pavement doesn't absorb the sun's heat, so in theory, it makes the air around it cooler. Think of it like a facelift, a new coating applied to existing roads that make them reflective. Lighter surfaces, so it's not just black asphalt to help combat the heat island effect. Davis identified 15 roadways already in need of repair with little shade, where cooling pavement could make a big difference. The heat this summer. We'll get through it. Unrelenting, but Davis could see relief in summers to come. Now, road construction on the cooling pavement project won't kick off for another year. It's expected to take about five years to get done once it starts.